All right, then. So that's all we have for the beautiful game. If you want proper updates and what's happening in the world of football, make sure you don't miss Mike messi Kenner on the full-length edition of the beautiful game. It happens on Saturdays from 11 a.m. Yeah, you get to call in, make your comments, and, of course, rant about what's been going on in the world of football. Uh, yeah, I might be joining you this weekend. I'm a bit invested in what's happening right now, especially with... Uh, Nigeria's FIFA rankings. Hmm. Yeah, well, fingers crossed. We are going to be heading over to the kitchen. Winfrey is standing by with our chef. Hello and welcome into the Wake Up Nigeria kitchen on this beautiful female-only fun Friday. It's amazing to be here right now. Great one on the sports duty. <laughs> and uh, right here with me, I have Chef Flora. Good morning. Hi, Chef Laura. How are you doing? I'm good. Okay, so it's a weekend. It's Friday, and uh, I'm seeing rice. The rice is reminding me that Sunday's around the corner, because you know how we like to eat Sunday rice. Now, with all the things that craziness happening in the markets with the tomatoes, I'm seeing some other condiments that actually seems like they actually will go well with rice. And I think that's what you're here to show us, right? Amazing. <laughs> so tell me, what are we making today? So we are making a garden, uh, garden egg uh, sauce. Oh, it's okay. quite good. Okay. And uh, garden egg is very nutritious. Mm, has a lot is. of health benefits. It, it totally is. And uh, well, I have pepper. Yeah. My pepper means I have chili pepper. I have uh, tomatoes okay. and onions in the mix. Okay. Then the beef. Mm -hmm. Then the oil, I, I choose to use the bleach oil. Okay. Bleach palm oil. Oh, bleach palm oil. Just to have okay. a, a kind of mm -hmm. special flavor. Okay. To it. Okay. And then I have a uh, locust bean. Mm -hmm. All I have here is just the local seasoning. Okay. So I have a uh, crayfish. Okay. Um, the garden egg itself for garnishing. All right, of course, we have salt and some seasoning That's cubes as well. Amazing. I mean, I totally love this. We'll talk more about that, but now let's talk about the process. So, how do we create the garden egg? Because so, okay. I know garden egg sauce, right? So, I think from where I come from, we have garden egg soup. So, like soup, soup, soup for swallow, right? And then we have garden egg sauce for yam. Do you understand? But it's mm. not. So, tell me, what's the method of preparing okay, this? this not too, not too, too much different, but it's not soup. It's not this soup. one is just sauce, yeah. right? Yeah. That can go with uh, rice. Okay. So um, the first thing I do is to uh, put the oil. Okay. So I put the oil, mm -hmm. then warm it a bit. Yes. Then put my pepper, add the matched uh, garden Garden egg, egg okay. Um, let me talk about the processing of the Okay, yes, garden please egg. tell so us. So the first thing is to uh, wash your garden egg like mm -hmm. this, and then mm -hmm. you slice it. Mm -hmm and steam it. Okay. You it, then you can match then it you mash with your matter. Okay. You can use your hand grater. Mm -hmm. you know, so I use hand can grater you, for this okay. one. Hand grater. Okay. Yes. Okay. Can you blend it? Mm, you, you, you have the feel of... Yeah, you know, it's going to be rough. rough. Maybe like this rough, then you just process <laughs> yeah, the bit exactly. so that, okay, because we don't want it to be smooth, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, so uh, my beef, mm -hmm. I'm going to just stir fry it a little right. bit okay. before adding it to it. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to do that first and then put it aside. Oh, okay. So I was going to ask, the garden egg, so I see there are two types here. So we're using the, yes. both the green and the white? Yes. Both if I, if I see more than the two species, the two species you have added, added is, add, yes, add more, yes. A kind yes. of uh, nutrients, yes. okay. trying to blend the nutrients together okay. to achieve uh, a nutritious meal. All right. Um, okay, makes sense. So at what point does the locust beans go in to the pot? Mm, I, I, it can go in at any time, okay. but I'm going to put it into the oil to bring out the flour flavor. Was that before the garden egg goes in or yes, after? Yes, no, before, before I put pepper. Before I you put pepper, you just put the locust beans. So it gives it that oil. local taste, it then brings it down. Mm. Okay, amazing. I think this is so, an amazing recipe that is very, very nutritious. I mean, because we have um, the garden eggs, which actually really, really nutritious as well. And some people might be bothered about, you know, but the garden egg can have that slight bitter taste. So what does that where does that play us in the in the milk? It's good. It's it's, it's also it's good, right? Good for mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. better. Um, we have good bacteria mm -hmm. and yes. all that. So that's bitter. I mean, sour taste. Yes, is, bitter taste. Okay. And actually, and also because of the processing, the processing will help you taste it so too, much. Uh, yes. Right. Amazing. So I'm definitely looking forward to this one. I think it's very nutritious, and this is a good substitute for your tomatoes. I've seen all manner of, all manner of, I've seen cucumber stew. I've had carrot stew. I'm like, no, okay. But then again, we're trying 
um, Gali egg sauce with rice today. We're definitely going to wait to see what that tastes like. Eventually, I can guarantee you it's going to be amazing. And Chef Laura is here to make sure that is so. Welcome back into the Wake Up Nigeria kitchen on this beautiful Friday morning. I'm still here with Chef Flora, and we're making rice and getting egg sauce, right? Um, Chef Flora, tell me, where are we in this amazing recipe? Okay, the, rest, uh, the sauce is almost ready. Okay. Uh, I already have my beef inside. Okay. So, finally... so I don't know, wait, wait, wait. They did not see the prior process, so we have to tell them. So we definitely okay. added our bleached... 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 Uh, bleach, uh, bleach oil. oil. Yes, you can pan. use any form of uh, palm oil. You know, okay. The, uh, can you use virgin oil? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, so palm oil. Mm -hmm. Palm oil, the roughly grated pepper, mm -hmm. and then the beef. The locust bean mm -hmm. is already in. Yeah, the locust so, bean as well to give you that aroma. It smells so really, I'm really nice. Going in with the with the gani match, egg now. Uh, okay. Egg. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's what I'm doing. Yeah, and I know that we have some slides. Ganning egg yes. at the back here. What's that's the plan for this to one? That's just ganning. Just so it's not going in the. It's going in. At the going last in at the last day. point. Oh, so we're definitely going to be having so that crunchy. Whatever. Nice. Um, I must have been, whatever nutrients that must have been missed out while, while uh, processing. Steaming yes, this. I mean that. We'll get it from there. Amazing. Yes. I love it so much. It smells good already. Our rice is also in that pan and pot. Almost cooked, yes, and uh, I mean, breakfast is literally ready. Uh, and definitely it smells so tantalizing. And of course, just imagine crayfish going into that mix. Mm, in fact, see, God bless the person that came about the idea of cooking. The person is a genius. <laughs> the person is a genius. Oh, nice, actually not coming together really, really nicely. And I'm sure this sauce, the amazing thing is that it can actually be used to eat, not just rice, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. potato. Plantain, no, what, plantain. I'm definitely gonna try this out. No, I'm definitely gonna try this out. I mean, I love it, that's the thing about we Nigerians. Our resilience literally shows and expresses itself in different ways. Now like, you see, you know use tomato, to show us pepper, I show us shiki. We'll tell you that there are different ways to do it, right? I mean, and that's the idea about challenging situations as well. Even, I mean, in life, in work, home, relationship, friendships, everything, right? Every challenge is definitely an opportunity to be innovative and creative. So definitely, we're definitely doing that, right? I love how Kitchen is giving us motivation. It's giving us nutrition and motivation at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we do here on Wake Up Nigeria. And it can also be just used for, for you. children. I think I once mm -hmm. did the spaghetti uh, egg, uh, mm. garden egg uh, spaghetti here. Okay, garden egg spaghetti. It's like you use yes. garden egg a lot. Even before, the problem with you is not tomato. It's not. No, it's about nutrients. It's just a general infuse, love for garden egg. You're trying to infuse. Uh, yeah. Vegetable, fruit, yes, into, into, yes, because I mean, garden egg is actually an opportunity is, you see, mm, just infuse, infuse it, it way into, or the other. yes, you know, and of that's what makes uh, yeah. people love uh, Chinese uh, meals, meals you know, as well, mostly. yes. You have a way to inculcate all this in. Even if you don't like vegetables. On a normal day, yes. It actually makes sense it. because, I mean, garden egg is a fruit that normal people won't eat. <laughs> on a normal day. They don't Most like it. Children. Yes. And I mean growing up I remember my mom literally always at my aunts buying grinding egg with like a soji, the so the yes, paste, the granite paste. paste. Yes. yes. And I know fine, it was fun at some point, but I mean it's still getting egg, right? But then again, when you put it in meals like this, you definitely get the full nutrients oh. and uh, I mean the added value to it. It's amazing. Well done, Chef Flora. I can see that beef in there. But I know it's in yes. there somewhere. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's it literally has been submerged yes. in the sauce, right? And I love it because you be eating and you literally yes. just taste it here. And they see you don't have to stress yourself. See, this life ain't fine. Like, uh, they're showing sure us shaggy, but we should tell them that we rise above, right? With all these amazing recipes. Yes. Okay, how much more longer do we need that to be on fire for? Mm -hmm. It's all, I'm almost done. Yeah, almost done, right? It actually looks ready already, right, and that's right, amazing right. about getting egg as well. It doesn't, because I mean, you can eat it raw, so it doesn't take yes. so much time to cook, so well, you don't have to overcook sometimes it. Sometimes, getting egg, it's not even sometimes, in the Igbo culture, you know, that's their... That's their main thing, Abby. They, they have different they sources, have different soups, sources different... And and in fact, at their occasion, if they don't have can yeah, I'm telling you, the occasion is not complete, and that's true. That's actually very true. All right, so now, the, are we having that in now? Yes, so yeah, let's do that. Final because stage. Finally, goes Gardens in the Ghani egg slices. Looking nice. Looking nice. And for those of you like like to crunch and munch, when you're eating, this is definitely for you. Try this recipe out. I mean, you have an entire weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Try this out. 
with the family and friends and let us know what they actually and think, you right? Can also block it with all forms of protein. Yes, of That's course. Awesome. I like how you say you can block it. Hey! <laughs> I can actually just imagine fish in this. Oh, it would be so nice. Fried fish, maybe like Titus fish or smoked fish. Yes. It would be so, or even pan lasse. Oh, or pomo. Oh, ah, ah. Giving us different, and or even goat meat. Mm. Or protein. Mm. <laughs> I'm literally salivating. So, if you like avoid egg, you can. OK, OK, OK. I didn't see that one, but OK, OK. All right, amazing. Uh, let me allow Chef Flora to serve and get our dish ready for um, our guests. Uh, we have another amazing week prepped for you. Yes, but before course. we go, yeah. let's taste the food. Yeah, so welcome into the Wake Up My Dry Kitchen. Uh, as soon as I said, this is not your first time, and I'm sure this will not be your last time. You know how we do it here now. Yes, so we've had the Flora, how that work, literally putting together this rice and garlic egg sauce. We'd like for you guys to try it out, and let us know what you think about it. You know how tomato mm -hmm. is doing markets now. Yes, so, yes. Oh, so, so this is like a nice update. Exactly, yes, so. update ah. to money. In case you don't oh. want to dry carrots or mm -hmm. cucumber, you can use garlic egg. Garden egg. Yes, so. yes, so this is my first time. I'll be trying garlic egg wow. with really? rice. rice. Okay. okay. What Have do you, you use had garlic egg with rice? I heard it was 2006. Wow, oh, that's a long okay. time ago. So, usually yam, plantain, so this is going to be like a first Yeah, so it's experience. like an update, right. yes, yes. Yeah, so you guys, go, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, try please. it out. Have a taste. Please know what you think. Have a taste. It smells nice. Have a taste. Okay. So, Chef Laura, tell us as it's, uh, what, what we have in there quickly. Oh, we have uh, mashed, mashed uh, garden egg. Mm. We have uh, mixed peppers. Mm -hmm. We have crayfish. Mm -hmm. We Ooh. have... Uh, your uh, local beans. Local yes. beans. Mm. So and what do you your think? meat, of course. Your means meat. Okay. Crevice uh -huh. mm. is so giving. It has yeah. this Love African it. local vibe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the pepper. So you do it. you miss the tomato? No. no. Like, like uh -huh. with this? <laughs> Never. <laughs> exactly. Awesome. And mm. that's the whole idea. Yeah. We love to great. Yes, yeah. and if you're watching this show, yes, please, so. when I get home, <laughs> We're making this up. <laughs> <laughs> Chef Flora, thank you. Thank you. We love you. And thanks to all our viewers, all our guests through in the entire week. You guys definitely made it a blast. And we'll be here same time, same station on Monday morning. Have a lovely weekend, guys. Bye.